Welcome to Easy Solution Systems. Today I want to speak about uh, retail man and its function. And at the same time, I will be speaking about the different softwares we are having today and the function of these four types of software we have, or three types of software that we have. I'll be speaking explaining the function of the tray so that when you look at it when you want to place order you will be able to know which of the software to buy and now we are going to go down first of all to the website we are going down to the website and we dot 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 com. So easy dash solution.com is the website. You click here, then the website open. Now I will be speaking the between each of the software. Now here you can see that we have a retail one POS. Then we have um, Easy Solution POS. We have Invoicing, Easy, Ac Easy Accounting, and Easy Solution Restaurant. Now, the difference between these four different software is this. Or before I begin to tell you the difference, I'm going to tell you. Um, how you will know the particular software you need in your business place. Retail Man. Retail Man is our number one software. It's our number one software because everything we do when a new uh, we are developing a new thing or the development team they are working on this software they want to develop, they want to do anything, they normally start from retail man. It is when we are, when that function is first implemented inside retail man, then before that very function can now be extended into any other software. Although, their functions are different. They do they are designed for specific business because retail man is being used in business, in business that support the thermal printer any retail or wholesale or wholesale business that support thermal printers i mean the thermal printers i'm talking about all those point of sales printer all those small small printer uh, point of sales printer POS printers. Okay, POS. When I say POS printer, I'm referring to the particular printers. All these type of printers. This ATMM printer, 59, 50, 59, 50 printers. So, retail man support eight MM printers. So any printer, transaction, transaction, transaction you want to be making, you want to track your stock, you want to do everything, all of them will track stock. All the three softwares will handle your stock perfectly, whichever one you are using handle the whole thing. But the difference is that a retail supports you, will support you to use any of this printer, but it is perfectly more fitted on printers, mm printers than 58mm. This retail this retail man have a page that we call point of sales. Let me log into the retail man. This is retail man here. So the retail man is having the POS terminal, the POS interface, I mean, and the POS interface meaning that it uses this page that support that Tama printer. And the thermal printer 
is actually called POS. And now let me explain that POS. The POS actually means. Let me explain how, or let me explain how you are going to get it very well. Any device that you use that is faster than the normal way of making cells, normal method or using calculator or using any means of that particular transaction, any device you are using, and that fasting to your transaction than the normal way is automatically a POS. But if you are used that, like some software that they call their own POS, and they have the POS, but this is slow than cells, it means they are not having POS screen page. Because in this retail man, we have the POS. At the same time, we have the sales page. Now, the difference between the sales page and the POS is that the sales page is slower to make sales than the POS. The POS is faster to make transactions. So when you attend the customer through this POS screen, it does not ask so many questions. When you begin to use a software that asks you so many questions, why making sales? That is not POS. It is no longer POS. So when you are using a software that you are still slow, there will be so much queue in your business. People are just queuing online, waiting for another person to be attended to. It means that software is not actually a POS time, a point of sales. Because as a POS software, it should fasten the sales faster than anything you can talk about. Okay, let's take it for example. When you go to bank, you want to come and pay money in a particular business place. That is all those small, small dossier where you slot in your card and you make your transaction and you pay money to the company and immediately the money is being debited from your account and it's been, uh, and been transferred and paid to the customer. That device, the reason why the bank call their own POS is because it fasting sells. That is the only reason why it's called POS machine. POS terminal, that's what the bank called their own. ATM is not faster. ATM is not called POS because you need to leave your house, you need to go to the ATM and be on, on withdraw your money and go back to where you are going to buy your goods. Now, the reason why that terminal, the reason why ATM is not called POS is because it's not being used at the point of sales. So the POS, the one that the bank is using, where you put in your card to make sales, to make payment, is called POS because it is very fast. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. And that is why they don't ask so much question. When you begin to ask so much question why you want to use your POS, it is no longer called POS. That is why when you slot in your card, the only question is just for you to just type in your PIN only. And the pin you are going to use will not be a lengthy pin. It's going to be a very short something because you need to be very fast. So the same thing with the point. So retail, so retail man that have the POS interface is very fast to attend to customer because when you scan a product, it takes you straight to the quantity. The only thing you do is just to touch the quantity the customer needs and click enter, you is done. When you click enter, you go to the next line. That is when I am configuring it to work for customer, to work for the star that are going to be making use of it to make sales. You need to configure it in the way that it will be very, very fast. So the configuration I have here now is not the configuration of person that should be very fast. And it does not ask so much questions. And it fastens the cell. That is why it is called POS. Now, like as I was saying, we have sales interface, which is this. This can also, can also be used to attend to your customers. But because it's slower than the sales, the customer needs to walk in and sit down. And you need to ask the customer what's your name. You need to get the customer detail before you attend to that customer. Getting all those details before you write invoice, it is no longer sales. It is no longer point of sales. In point of sales, it is not a mandatory you ask question. 
You don't need the customer's name. You don't need all those details. Except it is in the case that the customer, the, in the case that you need it. That is why in the retail man, it is not mandatory you enter all those details pertaining to customer. It is not mandatory. But on sales page, it becomes mandatory. Without you entering the customer's name, without you entering the details, you can't be able to attend to the customer. So the process of selling in the retail, in the sales page is slower than when you're using a point of sales in retail man. So in other words, what I am trying to explain here is that the point of sales the retail man is faster when you are using a retail man the point of sales interface is what make it faster in attending to customer and that the meaning of the point of sales is any device that is faster in making sales making the sale faster than the normal way it becomes the point of sale now when you go now if you go to the market you want to buy system and you say you want pos systems watch Now the system starts showing you POS system. It is not that it's time for POS system for any other reason. It is faster to use to attend to customer because here you don't need keyboard. You don't need mouse. It is not a mandatory you must put keyboard and mouse. You use your hand and punch on the screen direct automatically. That is why it's called POS. It is the same thing with a normal computer. The same function that other computer, what ordinary computer can do, that is what it can do. It is the software that is inside the so inside the machine that is even the that the job. But this device is called POS because point of sale system is because it is faster to attend to customer. You don't need to be using keyboard up and down, and that is why if you are using a software that you are clicking up and down before you attend to customer. It is not a point of sale software. You need a point of sale software. So in written man, all these screens that you are seeing here, this place can be configured to contain different type of product that you can just touch it on your screen and you make your sales. All these places you see, you can configure them, use them for different things. That is why it's called point of sale in a faster way to attend to customer. This is written man. So, like I said about retail man point of sales, I mentioned about the sales interface. That is, retail man also have the sales interface for invoicing that you can use to attend to customer, which slow down a bit, which is not used in some part, part of in some type of business. You can't use this page for some market; it cannot work. If you use this page to attend to customer in some market, automatically your place that business is going to slow down. People are going to be on queue. Why they want to buy? Because the system needs to slow you down. So point of sales is a system that fast. A system that is very, very fast. A system that does not ask so much question why you are making sales is the point of sales. And if it is not properly configured very well, it will be acting like sales too. So you need to configure it in the sense, in the way that it can be fast and give you what you need. Like retail man. So, back to the website, as I was explaining. So, the, in our website, easy-solution.com. So, you see we have the retail man. Then we also have easy POS. The easy POS is different from retail man. But this is very, very high. The price is very high. This is like a dedicated system. This very one, the way it works, I will be explaining this later. But the function and the retail man more or less the same. But the difference between this is that the installation is completely different. Let me make a small illustration about this. For a business that have stars that will walk in, that will go out and make sales. Let's say marketer and mark, go out and mark, go out and market businesses. After they are done marketing their businesses, they issue invoices with their smaller computer they will hold wherever they are. 
once they come back to the office or where they are they plug it to internet it will transfer all their cells to the server or you are using it in the supermarket you don't need it's not necessary you run a network cable to all the computers they can be installed separately in different computers and different locations in one them as cells is going on it transmit the cell direct to the server it can be used to manage branches it can use also to manage one single location but different people in different locations are selling the same central stock so the server can be off you can put the server off why everybody is making sales in their own different locations and as the sales is going on once you have access to internet it will transmit so using this easy solution pos what it does is that is this it means that each of the system have its own invoice number from one so if you are using three computers each of those computers have their own invoice number start their own invoice for number one so each of them start for number one. but retail man is not like that retail man will be on network on chain network to work except when you have branches then you want you have a head office and that the head office must be in chain network then another branch must be in chain network with a local server retail man that is retail man but the difference between the two of them is that this very one doesn't even need network at all at all you can work everything offline whenever you come it will transmit but retail man wherever you want it to if you want each location must be on chain network it's only their local server that may work offline to transmit letter to the retail man head office now is invoicing and accounting both are doing the same job they are doing the same job let me explain when you come to retail man if you remove the point of sales and you start from this place sales stock purchase payroll account and so on all of the this is where easy invoicing and accounting starts they don't have the point of sales page and they don't support camera printers those small small printers they don't support printers small small printers all these small small printers i showed you before they don't support it they only work with normal a4 printers so they don't support this particular printer and that is the difference between the the invoicing the invoicing the accounting because they don't have the point of sales printer attached on them so they can only use a4 printer and their interface they have start from sales they don't have the point of sales page and it's very cheap the price is lesser you have a lesser price so you can see we have different prices like this one now the full license one off payment is one 179 dollars and we now have this one year license so it's not the same thing with the retail man the retail man is higher in price because of the pos interface and that is why you can see the price here we have the yearly they even have which is at three dollars which is at three dollar and the yearly license 109 dollar and before you can buy the users if you want to buy so this is retail man then i have explained the difference between this and i've been able to also explain the difference between this also the easy accounting invoicing now easy solution restaurant the easy solution restaurant he all of them look alike the difference in restaurant is that from starting from the sales down they are all the same thing but with the page the interface that change that do that handle all the hotel work that handle all the restaurant work that handle all the all the bar the bar restaurant club Hey, the page that handle all the kitchen tracking the kitchen order tracking docket tracking waiter
tracking waitresses, tracking all the barman and so on, the hotel room and everything is the point of sales page of the easy restaurant that it is configurable to suit all those businesses. So, but retail man is for any buying and selling businesses or any services. You can use it to configure any type of services like a law firm, like a, any type of businesses of stock bookkeeping and so on. Retail man can do that. When you are using a smaller invo a, a smaller receipt, but if you don't want to use all those small receipts, easy invo easy accounting can handle it perfectly for you and do the job hundred percent. So the security system that is built inside the restaurant is high, very high, that no one can manipulate it, no staff can manipulate it. The sentinel, the sentinel. The same thing in the point of sales of the retail man. This, these are just the brief uh, training I want to have today, and I will be bringing more of the training. Don't forget, to, and don't forget to contact us on our Facebook page, Easy Solution, on our YouTube, Easy Solution Sist. So don't forget to contact us. And we will be able to answer all your questions more on the Facebook page. Thank you and you have a great day. Bye.